Hi there. So this is going on the second day of my little brother's trial. Um, and there's a potential that I might be called in as a witness. And so I've actually been barred from attending any of the trial, which is really frustrating because this is my little brother's and his, this is his, you know, after three years of solitary confinement, finally getting a uh, try at justice. I stand behind Shifa not only because he's my little brother, but because he is a representative of so many other young Muslim men and immigrant people, people of color, and just people who have been marginalized and people who have been left behind or forgotten and people who are being persecuted for for no reason and a lot of times for their beliefs for their religious practices for um, failing just to to live the all-american kind of assimilated lifestyle that society demands and a lot of times you know people who are different are being marginalized or people who think differently or look differently are being um, are, are being persecuted for a lot of misunderstandings and what I believe is that, you know, my little brother Shifa has just been part of this whole uh, sweeping of um, targeting that has been going on and, and, and that has escalated more specifically since 9-11. And so I stand with Shifa, I stand with all, all communities. What I hope is that there is a collective safety for all of us in that we actually challenge systemic violence and violence that actually takes place and, and is built around um, uh, targeting people who are in these mar marginalized and vulnerable communities. And so what I hope is that we, as, as a collective body of you know, people and organizers and activists and people who are looking at human rights issues, people who are working for social justice, people who believe in in actual true freedom, you know, and, and actually be, who believe that we all have human rights and, and equal rights, regardless of, of our backgrounds, regardless of our religious backgrounds and our ethnic backgrounds, uh, of our sexual orientation, of anything, that, um, that we have the right to collective safety. And that's why I'm here, and that's why I stand beside my brother and people of all marginalized communities.